Hello, another video. Just doing here a walk in, in the forest. Uh, and uh, I wanted to do a review or retake or update or revisited of this knife. So large uh, Northern Hunter of LT Bright. So I just actually wanted to come like it's one hour walk. These are forests uh, that are actually unfamiliar for me. So I just kind of want to check them out a bit. And uh, like I didn't even uh, like have any intentions to, to pick up mushrooms, but as the season, season is now uh, so amazing. So it's just, I can't avoid them. Avoid them. So I, and I always have a belt knife with me and then I have a spare spare bag in my backpack like just uh, if, if, if need be so just 15 minutes and I already collected chanterelles and uh, porcinis or or sip uh, as the team from from the Kukeli Bushcraft channel uh, uh, mentioned thanks Tim uh, great channel by the way you should check that out we'll put the link on the description so sip and then penny bun was also one so yeah, just just a walk, and uh, didn't uh, plan to do any 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 foraging, but uh, I can't avoid them at the moment. Uh, and uh, so, but this this knife uh, is now I have had this for about four months, and or maybe more, and uh, it's just now time for me to kind of. Uh, to, to, to kind of uh, say my conclusion of the knife because now it's now I have tested it enough really so I don't like really to do I, I can't say if knife is a good or great like just in a like first few weeks well I guess uh, you you need to know even, even more but but now I can say like with four months I can I, I, I can say something about the steel I can say many things about the knife that I'm actually now confident so uh, this is by far my most versatile blade and what I mean by versatile in this situation is that it just does all the things that it does it does it it really excels and then just a bit more even and it does so many things so I just don't have I just don't have a knife that is like close to this well I have knives that are close to this but this definitely is like the most versatile and I guess it's kind of personal thing, so it, it, personal preference, of course. So one could say more versatile blade is Skrama oh, from, from Varosteleka, which is kind of a heavy tool. You can chop a tree uh, with that. Okay, yeah, why not? But I'm mainly like focusing on just belt, normal belt knives now, not any survival knives. But this also can do survival tasks also. But yeah, so this is just... I've been so in love with this because this is so slicey, the blade profile, if you look at it, it's so, so slicey. And uh, I will actually put here uh, like a link, uh, like, um, like videos here, like uh, short videos showing uh, some food prep and uh, uh, some feather sticks. So um, is it just so slicey? It's... Uh, it's one of my favorite knives, uh, like outdoor knives for food prep. Even even prefer this as many, uh, even prefer this to many kitchen knives that I have. Um, you can baton, you can baton this easily with this. Uh, I was just uh, one and a half weeks uh, in the archipelago all day carrying this. I did, we did lots of outside grilling, so I did the food prep there. Uh, then I prepared the sauna every day, every evening, so like fire starting with this, no problem. Batoning with this, I did kindles for my relatives, like like I always do a big chunk of like uh, feather sticks and ready and kindles for, for fire starters. I did, did with those, I used all of this. This really has been one of my most used knives also if not the most used one actually this 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 summer so just nothing bad to say maybe put here a um, clip of the food prep and then the feather sticks also 
So, uh, this is just so damn versatile, the blade. It's also fantastic in food prep. So, I've been using it all the summer in many, uh, many, many, many different situations. The food prep just was uh, over a week in, uh, in the archipelago and just all the time grilling outside and uh, doing all sorts of uh, different food. So, it's, I just... I just love this this blade shape for food prep. It's so uh, high the the blade that it it, it really emphasizes uh, emphasizes the sliciness. It's really nice and uh, also uh, this kind of a um, curvy blade shape is is for me very nice for for food prep. So I prefer this to many uh, kitchen knives. It's much better than many of my kitchen knives. Like, much, much better. And, uh, just did, for example, uh, the kid uh, likes mushrooms a lot, so I did a, had a pizza, like, uh, of uh, a porcini pizza, and uh, with bacon and uh, whatnot. And uh, awesome also in, <laughs> in pizza slicing. Yeah, it's just so fun to use and just kind of uh, goes to show like how versatile this really is. It, it's my best knife for food prep. One other few knives that I like is, uh, for example, the Kephart by Brisa. It, it's also very slicey, so I, I do have slicey blades and uh, uh, some bark rivers, but this is just takes takes the cake. Also, the Brisa Nesmo is quite nice. I like the pointy tip also here. The the problem I just mentioned, the Brisa Nesmo, it doesn't have the pointy tip. So if one needs to to point, to do something with the with the tip, no problem with this one. Then I'm going to do actually some chanterelles. Uh, just yesterday evening, picked these. I have a uh, special place where I go to pick them, it's like going to a supermarket. I just go there 15 minutes, I have two liters of chanterelles. It really is insane how expensive it really is in the, in the supermarket, but just basically doing these to them. I don't need to do anything else. And uh, yeah, this is enough. This is, this is just fantastic on food prep. Then some feather sticks. Very nice. Effortless. I like to actually to do with the point, like uh, closer to the tip, the feathers. But you can also, of course, use whatever part of blade you want. Uh, you can do delicate feathers with this one. You can do uh, also cutting, of course. This digs deep if you want. So this also just shows how versatile the blade is. Yeah, but it's, I like the handle also. It was one of the first things that I thought, oh, it's going to be a question mark. Is it going to be nice? It's nice. It's very, very nice. Uh, no hot spots. It's kind of thick enough, wide enough that you can actually do nice push cuts with this even. And uh, you, you don't get, or I don't get any fatigue with this and uh, uh, whatnot. Um, and then the feathers you, you saw, very nice of, of these types of like slicey, almost full flat blades, one of the best ones. Um, yeah, and the spine, of course, for uh, like fire steel using, very, very good as LT Wright apparently does. Mm, I like the texture of the handle. So this is just a knife that does it all. This is, I just, I just love it for, for that reason. And, uh, and then, one thing which is notable is that I love this uh, curvy blade for for food prep. So it's just very nice to to chop things and uh, 
uh, yeah, so, so the form is, is already I like this form. Already I liked the Nesmuk form, I like this curvy forms. But the, po but the point, although the, the, the great thing about this is that it has this kind of a pointy tip. So you can, I've, I've opened many fishes with this one this summer, no problem whatsoever. Very nice on that actually. Uh, it's sturdy enough really, so I, like I said, I have been using this quite a bit for woodwork and really batoned through, uh, through even like big pieces of wood, no issues. The steel has held also really nice, so no chipping, uh, like I've stropped it, or I've only stropped it like the whole summer, only stropped it and uh, even have had a breaks with that one, so no, no problem also with that one. Um, the fit and finish is great, one of the best with any knives that I have. Yeah, it's just it's just lovely design in my opinion. Um, definitely, uh, like with with this knife, I'm I'm definitely going to be, uh, or let's say I, I, I'm, I'm like. Uh, confident buying other LT Wright knives, definitely. So if this is the quality, I'm, I'm looking many knives actually to, to, to buy at the moment. At the moment, I'm a bit like shy on putting money. Uh, I've been uh, buying too, too much expensive knives, but like in near future, I'm definitely going to check other LT Wright knives for sure. Comes with a good sheath, no issues, helps the knife nicely. Very, very sturdy. One of the sturdiest uh, leather sheets uh, that I actually have of this type of bushcrafting sheets. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's just great. And for example, today I just didn't even have any plans to, to pick up mushrooms because I don't know these forests. I know, normally have my regular places that, that I go. So I, I just w went here for a walk and uh, and had this on, I, I always have my belt knife on with, if I go to forest. And of course, there's mushrooms everywhere. It's, it's the season is season is amazing. So the thing is that I was just actually laughing that this is actually very good also with mushrooms. So and I was thinking like to myself like, okay, yeah, I, I know you're good. <laughs> so, but I want to use other knives also. Uh, so this just goes to show like uh, you can do so much things with this and uh, yeah found nice uh, porcinis and uh, and the thing is that I just kind of slice I use this for uh, I use knives to to slice for example here you have a porcini I just check like I take all the the bad parts away. The food is anyway with these big, big ones, not that great, but this is this is very nice. And then I'm just slicing the cap. This looks to be a very nice one, and it is. It doesn't have any worms, as you as you see, no worms. Okay, and then also I found some chantarelles, and what I did, what I also. What I do, <laughs> sorry my English, what I do is, uh, for example, I found a, I find a chanterelles, found much more, also much more porcinis, just in like 20 minutes or something, it's ridiculous this year. But yeah, for example, I have a chanterelles, I just take the bad, uh, not the bad, but the root part away and I leave it to forest. So that's that's basically for what I very often use the knives. But uh, this year the porcini season is so awesome. So one needs a bit a bit of a bigger bigger blade that also does slicing. So that's why I I've been carrying now uh, also the Kephart a lot, like the Brisa Kephart, which is also a very nice blade, by the way, very slicey. This is just much more versatile blade than that. Uh, but it doesn't take any anything away from that. I actually should do. Uh, update video of also of that knife so that's that's a great one yeah but i guess that it that's it so i'm sorry i've been showing this knife a lot in the channel but it just has been so good uh and and this is now like my i'm confident now of saying like this is my most versatile blade uh 
great knife. Happy to, happy to use this and LT Wright seems like a great company. So we'll check them out more. Thanks for watching. See you later.